Steiglitz is a small former mining town situated in the Brisbane Ranges, Victoria. By 1863, the town had over 2,000 residents, but today only has eight. An article from 2019 listed Steiglitz as one of seven ghost towns in Victoria, but today we're going to go see if it really is a ghost town, and we'll also see if any remnants of the former mining town exist. Timeline of the town, it looks like. Mining town. Oh, wow. That's pretty much what it used to be. Now it's just all grass, I guess. Just nothing. Beautiful chimney. Mm. So the courthouse. Little chair. Not open. Oh, okay, they actually do stuff here. And there's the front. Bloody fires everywhere. So I think this place, like, there's no power here at night. So there's basically just, like, dark, like pitch black. It's kind of cool. So the other side here. An old bricked up entrance there as well. Porch. Just some really nice architecture there. Architraves, is that what they're called? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's like breaking some wood in the house across the road. I think I can hear. But yeah, just like a huge lock on this door. It's really cool. The drain here. See the pipe there? Goes all the way down here. That's really cool. That's actually really cool. Just a shot. The roof here and the nice chimney. So 1,500 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. And now it said there's only 10. Basically all just demolished buildings now in what used to be like a pretty decently sized main road. This was sort of on top of a hill I guess it's what it looks like. Um, looking over that main road. Down there is apparently the historic general store. I can hear people in there but looks like it's um, a private residence now. So, this is the start of the walk, I guess. If you want to pause to read that, go ahead. Um, hill here that looks over the town. That's really cool to look at, an awesome view. So, just actually looking at this, there's an old private school behind us, demolished obviously. So just right here is the site of the old school, there's the courthouse. I'm going to try and find some remnants. Just not much. There's also the tennis court for the school somewhere around here. But maybe some old bricks of the school. Actually, it would be. Yeah, that's some old brick from the school, you'd think. Yeah, this is cool. Apparently, there's a flattened, cleared space somewhere for a tennis court. But I'm not quite sure where. I assume there's a park here for the school. Yep. Mrs. Jack's private school. And that's just the side of the car park. So just down here is the site of a bakery. I don't know if there's this plaque's readable. Oh, it's not easy to look at. But pause if you want to read, if you can read it. But yeah, apparently the only thing left of it is this thing, which is actually kind of cool. Old draper and outfitter there. I think you see your post office as well, the thing said. Whew. So this is Regent Street, which was basically the main 
road for the town. Um, yeah, but now it's just a dirt track. Um, pause to read if you want. Oh, look at this bug. That's cool that as well. So this is actually really helpful, this little diagram here. It shows pretty much where everything was. Right there is the church, which is just over there, which we're going to go check out. Um, uh, I'm looking for the Draper's Nine, which is there, which is just over there, of course. And then, yeah, there's just a lot of demolished sort of buildings here. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Some old bricks here. The remains of something. Here's the old main road. Apparently there's toilets behind this, which is kind of cool. So, the Church of England here, St. Paul's. <sighs> Dean of Melbourne consecrated this building as a church on the third day of March 1871. Final service in uh, 1962. Now available for general hire. If you want to do something in here, I wonder when the last time anyone actually hired it for something. These are the front, held up by some pieces of wood there, look. So yeah, really cool. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, just a pretty standard church. Yeah, not much to see there. Yeah. Public toilets back here. Cool little water tank. Yeah, this is really cool, this church. And just behind the church is a few mine shafts. Let's go have a look at this one. Apologies for the wind you're picking up now, it's actually nice until just now. So yeah, just a casual mine shaft down there. Ooh, looks like there's a plaque here. That is nearly unreadable, but it's there. I'll try and read it, but I don't think it's going to be caught on camera, but yeah. So, going by that, just another one of the many uh, mine shafts of this reef here. The boxing reef goes down 300 feet apparently. Um, this reef, so that's pretty cool. Another mine shaft down here, and a creek it looks down there. Just another mine shaft, an old dam, probably used for mining as well. And it's a bit grassy for my liking, but. Another mine shaft. And then that goes down there. Pretty standard mine shafts, but nice that they've covered up, covered it with fences. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're just in the back part of this town here. Would have been buildings all the way down there. Pretty nice looking dam, but yeah. So we're at the toilets. Pretty cool. I don't know when these are built. Both are vacant. If you can open them. Yeah. Ooh, pretty nasty. Yeah, not the best looking toilets. And Another toilet here, it smells so bad. And just a little bird's nest. <sighs> Such a weird place to have toilets here. They haven't been maintained very well. And a little bit of a shot of underneath the church. Oh, it's open. And that is underneath the church. And the other side of the church. So yeah, just next to the dam, there's like some little quartz hills, it looks, obviously part of the mining thing. Behind that post office, looks like there's some quartz hills too, but yeah. Some bricks here, some abandoned thing, probably, demolished, I should say. And we'll continue down here, which is just like a main road, so that's kind of cool. Some random post here, it's just the Draper and Outfitter, it's actually really cool. Some plaque, better go check it out. 
Ah, the bakery, which I think is the one across the road, was it? No, Stigert's Bakery, owned by Simpson Brothers, who also family grows at General Carriers. Food brewing with large half moon brick ovens was run by William Simpson. It was known exactly why when the bakery closed. However, in 1936, they said Mr. Cook used the bricks in the building to build chimneys and a sheep dip in the area. Okay. This is the site. Just some bricks there. Not much. Some sort of old yard overgrown with some sort of ch uh, tank in it. Free library, apparently. This dog's come to visit us. You ready? Oh, oh he's caught it. Okay. Hey, hey, go ahead. Oh, wow. Oh. West. West side of Regent Street. Uh, pause if you want to read, obviously, again. This is actually just like, just a picture. It's not very easy to see with like it fading away, but that's how big it was. So it looks like there's something maybe for the mining behind here. Pretty cool, another hill. Some old sheds here. It's actually really cool. There's like a coach in there. I don't know, it's like a private residence probably, but there, Cove and Co, and a cool little coach in there. Just a boat here, golden fleece petrol, that's really cool. Some sort of sheds around here. There's that old bridge down there, and some sort of plaque, which you'll have a squeeze at. There's a shot of up the region street, that's pretty cool. Pause to read this if you can. Um, yeah, it's basically just saying that this hill behind here was a good spot for photographers back in the day when there was a lot of towns here. <sighs> Uphill to town. Yeah. I don't know if you can even see that at all, but that's the town there taken from the hill behind us. And here's a little uh, obelisk thing. Uh, the pioneers of Stiglitz. Some cottage down here. Well, I think this is the cottage they were talking about that they're restoring. Yeah, cool little driveway thing. I don't know. I was assuming you can go in, but I don't know. Remains of an old tank here. This tree is cool though, isn't it? An old chimney. That's pretty cool. It's such a cool lookout that would be. Up on top of that hill. This is the front of the house. And there's an outhouse just down there behind the tree, which it's hard to kind of get. I think this was this cottage they were talking about, um, which is being restored. So that's pretty cool. You can see through here, you can actually see some sorts of photos on this mantelpiece. And even a piano through there, but it's kind of hard to see. We've actually found a park. Oh. Mrs. Bugs Blacksmith, apparently. So there is a plaque. That's cool. All right, another plaque. A nice convenient little path here. Work and leisure. If you want to pause it, read it. I mean, read it, pause it. This used to be the place where they printed the newspaper. Um, it looks like, which is what it says. And it's just like a town of 1500 having a newspaper. That must be the most boring sort of newspaper ever. Like my town of Ballarat like, has 100,000 and the courier is boring, and I can't imagine something with 1% of that population having anything interesting in the newspaper. Apparently the tennis court is somewhere down there near the creek. Flat patch of land, but too much grass now to even know. There's actually some steps up to here, which is quite nice. We can see what was here. And this was, well, a hotel. Holy crap. Pause to read. So. Here's the location of a courthouse which closed down in 
1911, so a fair while ago. You can see some bricks here, which is uh, remnants of a, um, I don't really know, remnants of the bakery, I think it was. Yeah, the bakery it was, I remember that. Yeah, pretty cool. Little hill here. Maybe this was the tennis courts for the school, which we were talking about before. But yeah, we're basically back here now. And uh, yeah, not much to see left. I think there's a bit up, up that road down there, something called Peppercorn Palace or something. So we might drive past that, but I think we're pretty much done, to be honest. Whew. Oh, it's a hot day today. It has to be close to 30 degrees out here in country Victoria. So, although we didn't actually find any people here, we were greeted by a dog uh, down in the main street, but I've only really, really seen three houses that have actually been inhabited. So, yeah, I'd, since there's 10 people left here um, in this town compared to the 1500, but there's still people here. Seems like it's kept pretty well, this town. Would I call it a ghost town? I don't know. I would... Going from 1,500 to 10 people seems like a pretty big drop, but it does seem like there's people here. People take care of it. There's a church you can hire for events, and uh, there's this courthouse, which has still some sort of society in it. So, I don't know. You decide whether this place is a ghost town. Now there's a really cool. Get some shots of these photos there's the old cemetery and this is probably the most important shot which is of the whole town and um yeah looking at that we were about there when the dog came and found us so that's really cool so we're back and we are at the saint thomas roman catholic church Stiglitz, which is basically just uh, on the outskirts of the town as you're coming in you drive past it on the right But yeah, this is pretty cool built in 1868 1951 it moved 1982 it came back and uh, It's right here. So let's go have a look and there's a one headstone cemetery here around the back Front door <clears throat> Pretty cool doorknob actually. Always check the doorknob, see if it's open. Nope. Yeah, you see the light there, it looks. There's the window. Pretty cool. There's underneath the church. As we come around the side. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty standard country church, but it's decent size, bigger than the one in town. Um, but yeah, this is cool. And I'll try and find the. Oh, I found it. This would be pretty creepy at night. But I found the, the headstone. Yeah, there's the other side of church. Ramp there. Let's go have a look. This is kind of creepy. And there it is. The one headstone at this cemetery to W. Patterson, it looks like, who was lost his life in an accident on the Stiglitz Goldfield at 27 years old. It's a pretty interesting story for a pretty interesting gravestone. Really cool. Actually, it looks like it was for Robert. Dunn who lost his life, Dunn, Dunn something, I don't know, it's hard to see, it's been sort of, been withering away, but look at this, like an old Winnie the Pooh thing, it's cool, some sort of old plant here, which will stand up, but yeah, very old Winnie the Pooh sort of thing there with the ears off, slowly decaying, not much here, but it is pretty creepy, sort of, yeah, very eerie, um, this one single headstone, and it's someone who lost their life very young, so, yeah, it's pretty sad. 
All right, that's pretty much all there is to see of this old church. Um, I think there's still a society here. I think we read that before. Um, still some sort of thing which collects photos, documents and stuff. Which is really important because photos of this town show just like how far it's fallen, you know. So it's pretty cool. So it looks like there's a sign here. Could be about the cemetery. No. I can't read it. Oh yeah. You can see it sort of says cemetery there. You can see that. That's a bit weird but... Yeah, one lone gravestone left here.